trip to Davos. Uh, of course, uh, uh, it will not be complete without my greeting of our First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos. And uh, I think uh, the Pasay District represented, yes, of course, <laughs> and um, our good mayor, Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano, uh, AF Chief of Staff, Andy Centino, and PMP Chief uh, Jonas Urin, Philippine Coast Guard Admiral Artemio Abu, and fellow members in government, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Thank you. Uh, in Davos, as I am joined by the Philippine delegation composed of government officials and business leaders on the kind invitation of Professor Klaus Schwab, founder and chair emeritus of the World Economic Forum, whom I had occasion to meet in person at the sidelines of both the ASEAN and APEC meetings in Phnom Penh and Bangkok, respectively, in November of last year. This is the first in-person meeting of the World Economic Forum since 2020. And before the, world became, before the world came to a standstill because of the pandemic. As such, our theme of cooperation in a fragmented world is quite important. is the need to collectively bolster and reinforce our post-pandemic economic recovery efforts by addressing the challenges we face posed by rising food prices, the impact of conflict in other parts of the world, and the continuing existential threat posed by climate change. I have resolved to take this opportunity to exchange views on such pressing issues with other government leaders, policymakers, business executives, entrepreneurs, civic society advocates, and academic experts. The Philippines is also being given a unique opportunity to highlight the significant economic gains we have achieved in the last part of the year, as attested to by upward growth projections of the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. The World Economic Forum is hosting a country strategy dialogue regional and global expansion plans of both foreign and Philippine-based enterprises anchored on the competent and well-educated Filipino workers, the managers and professionals. I will draw attention to our efforts at building resilient infrastructure that bolsters our effort to reinforce robust and resilient supply chains and ensures food security, including critical interlinkages with health and, health and nutrition, while furthering climate-friendly, clean, and green energy to power the Philippine economy. Moreover, I will share our experience as a model for managing with our global partners the disruptive and transformative impact of COVID. I intend to share our efforts in saving both lives and livelihoods, as well as the people-centered next steps that we are taking to ensure that we are ready to meet the lingering effects of the pandemic and address the occurrence of the possible next one. I look forward to meeting. 